Hey there guys, welcome back. Today is going to be part three in my accidental or catching bees uh, beekeeping series. Um, I did parts one, two, and four, but I skipped over three because I still had a swarm trap that I wanted to transfer and I kind of wanted to have it all in one video. So I had to redo some stuff, but here it is, it's part three, a little out of order, <laughs> but uh, that's what it is. So basically what I'm gonna do today is show the process of me transferring the swarms that I caught in these uh, bait boxes or swarm boxes and moving them into some top bar beehives that I built out of scrap wood. Not fancy by any means, but you know, this has all been kind of an accidental, uh, on a whim kind of beekeeping adventure that I'm undertaking in the last several weeks. Uh, so anyway, I'll show you the quick little uh, inside of this. And this is actually one of the boxes, the box I just did uh, yesterday. You see the combs were attached there. And this is just a uh, little wax uh, filled with honey. And it's actually almost kind of like a chewing gum. It's kind of cool, uh, pretty sweet. But anyway, that's just one of the perks of this. <laughs> Let me take you to that footage. You'll hear me doing a voiceover. It may be kind of strange. I'm not really that great of a narrator, uh, but uh, let me take you on the process of showing how I did it. The first transfer process that we're watching is in my Kenyan top bar hive that I built a few years ago. What you see there is a squared off comb that I pulled out of that swarm box, uh, something I did not anticipate. Uh, it actually made uh, getting it into the top bar hive a little bit difficult. As you can see, I've got uh, concave walls on that top bar hive, and I actually had a little area where they could build uh, straight down and underneath uh, the little rests of what these top bars are resting on within the swarm box. Ultimately, the combs were very nice um and pretty darn heavy uh for i think the bees were in them uh probably about two weeks uh thereabouts uh so overall a success on this one um i did have uh, some little things that i uh, some mishaps i didn't anticipate but overall as you can see i got them in there i uh, uh, got a little bit mixed up where i put the ball uh, bars but right here if you look underneath those uh, little rests for the top bars, the comb actually went underneath there. So that's something I, I've remedied on the next uh, bait boxes that you'll see. I have two more uh, transfers after this one. So I'll let you watch this and I'll come back on when the uh, next one starts. This second uh, transfer that you're going to see is what I'm calling broken combs. This box, uh, during my relocation process, uh, when I had moved these boxes a few miles away to you know, put them where their final location is, uh, I had actually set it on a tree, uh, thankfully not very high up off the ground, just a couple feet off the ground, but the nail bent and the hive actually fell off the tree about a week prior to this. So what you're going to see is that th that first comb was actually pretty small. Um, and there's a couple other, uh, I guess, medium-sized ones. Again, these, uh, these combs have probably been maybe a week in the making, maybe a little bit more. Um, but you're going to see me pull out combs from the bottom of this hive. And those, I believe, were the original combs that actually broke off. Uh, so definitely a, a setback. I'm glad the bees uh, s still seem like they're doing pretty good. Um, but uh, that was uh, <laughs> quite a, uh, a disappointment. So what I'm doing here is I'm trying to lean these against the walls and against those other combs. Uh, this hive is just another top bar style hive that I made out of some junk wood. Um, and <laughs> if you watch, I really am not sure what I'm doing right now. Um, but basically, I'm going to try to uh, mash it on this top bar and then lean it up against one of the other combs uh, with some stuff, or with another comb from below. Uh, I 
been back uh, since, and I looked in there, and it looks like they've kind of connected them all. Really not very pretty, but um, when I do harvest honey from this hive, I don't ever really anticipate uh, taking anything from this side of the hive. I'll just leave that to the bees. So, you know, I guess as long as they're happy with it, <laughs> I'm happy with it. Um, the next thing you're going to see after I get this comb in there is uh, I start looking around and I'm pretty sure I see uh, the queen bee up in that little clump um, underneath that edge. So I guess right above my head right there um, towards that back of that box. And I just decided to look at that and I thought I saw her on a comb. So I just kind of grabbed that cluster of bees and through and, and I'm going to throw, well, you know, kind of set her in there, I guess. Um, but uh, I, like I said, I've been back and they're still in this, so I'm, <laughs> I'm guessing I got her. Uh, here it is right here. I think I see her. And so basically I just want to make sure she goes in there. And uh, I think it's a success. <laughs> Uh, it was the only success uh, with this hive, and then I uh, shake it like a maniac. Probably the <laughs> worst way you can treat something around bees, but you know what? So far, so good. And now I'm just putting the top bars back on, and we're going to get ready to go to the Swarm Box 3, uh, which was really the best one. Now we are at uh, swarm box number three, um, and this is the uh, the most successful one. Um, this does have the uh, the sides, so there's no concave areas within the swarm box uh, for the bees to build comb. And overall, these combs came out awesome. Uh, this one's a double comb, and you're going to see a piece actually break off right in front of the camera. Uh, <laughs> a little bit of a shock, but you know, wasn't a whole bunch I was going to do on that. I guess I was too rough. Uh, but all of these were really, really heavy. I think I got four big combs in all. Um, just <laughs> really pretty awesome. Very happy with this hive. Uh, by the way, that little piece that fell on the ground, I took that back home and uh, crushed, it, crushed it and strained it. Um, so, you know, I didn't think I was taking too much from them. But uh, I did uh, <laughs> technically get a harvest of honey out of this. This is the only hive I've actually received a sting from. Uh, they seem to be a little bit of a hotter hive, I guess. Um, so I don't know if that's just a characteristic of this queen. Uh, as you probably know, all of these are Africanized bees, uh, these swarms in Arizona here. So, um, you know, maybe that's just a, a trait of them. But uh, Anyway, it's not too bad. I'm still very happy with the way it's coming out. Here's that, uh, I think this is the last comb. Um, but man, I just, uh, <laughs> so far this beekeeping journey is is uh, very amazing. You know, I think it's a whole heck of a lot of beginner's luck and probably a great season uh, to catch swarms of what I've read. Uh, so obviously this might not be typical, but you can see the modifications where I put those little sidewalls uh, basically to ensure the combs uh, weren't built underneath the uh, cavities in the in the hive and I'm just dumping the rest of them in there and uh, that's pretty much it guys a uh, little bit of a different video for me um, right now I'm just putting the uh, the bars on and I just have a little follower board I made out of uh, some of the scrap pieces of wood so I can kind of collapse this hive down to be a little bit smaller. Uh, so that's all I'm doing right there. But anyway, so uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully this wasn't uh, too boring or weird with me voicing over. Uh, but I, <laughs> when I was doing these bee transfers, I really wasn't uh, too keen on, on talking extra. So thanks, and we'll see you next time.